hi welcome everyone in today's video we are going to learn a new a library which can help you build good graphs interactively rather than using the ggplot tool in which you have to code what you want to do in this library it is uh, in this library what you can do is in the background ggplot tool will be working but you have to select the variables and select the graph uh, interactively and then make a graph and then download so we'll start with first of all loading the library the library is name is xqzy so you have to just load once you install it from installer packages platform then load so we will load the library uh, which will make this graph the spelling is e s q u i e w s e and you load it uh, it will show loading time and then and uh, there are many ways to load the library uh, to make it work so i will use the manual method in which you have to import the data so the code is e s q u i w s e r bracket open close when you open it it will show you one platform in which what you can do is uh, you can just import the data so if you have a data already loaded in your data frame you can just select it from here or uh, if you have loaded data in some other uh, from other packages which is already loaded or is in your library you can get it from here you can get imported from using the browse method with the csv text cls all common file methods you can paste the data file here you can import it from google so in this video i will be using uh, already loaded data file so i will go here and i will select this with data file and it is successfully loaded now you can view it here if you want to okay and and then if you want to update means that some of the variables which are which should be numeric and and you need to check so you can do it here so this way you have a, a data file but in this data file there is a okay so we have uh, two numeric variables two character variables so we do import data so four variables are shown here first way is you can select the graph that you want to make or you can just select the variables so social progress in y axis and if you select only one variable automatically it will make a histogram once the histogram is made you can do add tables like you can title histogram of spi and then make it center line board increase the font size to 16 you can do all the things so it is shown here and you can add x axis y axis subtitle caption anything that you want to add then plot options you can change the curve you can number of change the number of bins you can increase it or you can decrease it okay and then this way you can change the alter the graph then you can do the appearance change the color of the bins okay or you can select any theme that you want to select so i usually use the gray one and then in data if you wanted to change the range means the year value or the data value so you have to create a limit so for example you wanted to move outliers so in here these are extreme values so what you can do is you can just reduce it few values from here so it will adjust so this will this way you can see the graph is normalized by removing outliers after that after all the process you can access the code from here and then just copy it or uh, you can download the graph from here in png svg jpg any format you do want that you want in more options uh, you can increase the uh, pixels and then update and then export so this way you can make graph so another way is if you want to do add another variable i'm adding here so it will select a scatter plot and it will make the this and then you can add labels accordingly and you can add plot options you can increase the size of points so you can increase the size of points and you can also transform any of the variable into any format so you can change into log or log 10 or any any other format so this way and then other things are that you can add a color with respect to any other so what we can do is add a country show colors 
So since the country has too many types, so that there will be many colors. So it, it should be few categories if you want to add a color so or size or group. Okay, so this way you can uh, make graphs and then export it. So I think this is very useful library for the new users who want to make it, uh, graphs quickly and interactively uh, and learn which graph is more appropriate. So do like and subscribe the video. Thank you very much.